Hello Hillsboro families! This is a quick tutorial to walk you through our annual registration process through the Infinite Campus Parent Portal. Due to the amount of information needing to be reviewed, it is highly recommended that you complete this process through a computer or Chromebook. Our Registrar's Office has kiosks available for those who need that resource. The annual review gives you the opportunity to review and update contact information, health and medical information for your students, as well as review our release agreements and provide proof of residency in our district. To access the Hillsboro Infinite Campus Parent Portal, please visit our website at hsdr3.org. There are multiple places to access the link to the Campus Parent Portal, but the easiest is to scroll down to the bottom of the main page and then click on the Campus Parent Portal link. On the Campus Parent Portal site, Enter your username and password information. If you have forgotten, please contact the building of one of your students and they can assist you in the login process. We enter our username and password and log into the system. Once we are logged in, we will go to the bottom of the navigation bar on the left side of the screen and click More. On this screen, you will see Online Registration at the bottom available to click. You will see multiple options for registration, including adding brand new students for this current year and for next year. We are wanting to complete the existing student annual review, so we will click Start on the bottom option. We are now on the review screen to start our annual review. Please review the list of students that are included in the annual review. They will have a yes and included listed next to their names. Only primary households complete the annual review, so you will see those students listed, but they are not included in the annual review process. If you notice an issue on this screen with the students listed, please call or email our registrar at the contact information listed here. We will now start our annual review by clicking the Click Here to Begin Registration button. This opens a new window that allows you to select your preferred language. Also notice that it has assigned an application number. Please make note of this number as that will help us to assist you if you have any questions. I click on English and now is a welcome message and legal statement to review. Please type in your name and use your mouse to sign on the line. When ready, click Submit. The next screen has information on the Missouri Course Access Program, known as MOCAP. We are now ready to begin reviewing our information, so we click the Begin Review button. The first section we will review is our household phone and address information. We make sure that the household primary phone number is correct and that all contact preferences we want are checked. When we are sure this information is correct, we click the Next button. This lists our address information and allows us to upload a picture or PDF of our proof of residency. This is a test site, so the Upload button is not visible on this screen. You can either upload your proof of residency now or send it via email to our registrar at a later time. Please know that your application and student registration will not be approved until a valid proof of residency is provided. A valid proof of residency is a utility bill, signed lease agreement with most current receipt, or a mortgage statement. The bill or receipt must be within the last 30 days to be valid. If you do not have proof of residency in your name and are living with someone else, you will need to stop by the registrar's office to pick up an affidavit of residency form. We click Next and mark if we have a separate mailing address or P.O. box. Once done, we can click Save Continue to move to the Parent Guardian Pleat. On the Parent Guardian Pleat, we notice that the names are highlighted in yellow. This indicates that they have not yet been reviewed. We will click on the Edit Review button. We will review the information and click Next. On the contact information form, make sure to review and update your phone and email information. 
On the email section, be aware that some domain providers block our automated messages. We recommend using a Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo account to ensure email delivery. We click Next to review the migrant worker and military connection questions. When done, we click the Save Continue button to move to the Emergency Contact section. The Emergency Contact section is very similar to the Parent Guardian section, where you click the Edit Review button and make sure all contact information is correct. Please make sure you are entering contacts who are not parents or guardians already listed. At least one emergency contact must be entered, with a maximum of three allowed. In the examples below, no changes to my emergency contacts are made, so I go, will go through each section by clicking Next and then Save Continue when I'm done. When I am done with this section, I click Save Continue to view the student information. On the student information pleat, all students listed in this primary household will be listed in the student section. We will click the Edit Review button to go through the student sections. The first section is Demographics, and we can add or edit a preferred name or student cell phone number if applicable. We then click Next to review the race and ethnicity information. This information is not available to change, so please let the registrar know if you see any incorrect information. We click Next to review housing information, noting if this student is homeless or in foster care. We click Next to look at the relationships with parents and guardians. You are allowed to update the relationship and contact order information. If you need to make changes to any of the checkboxes, please contact the registrar and they can assist you. When done, we click Next to review the student emergency contacts. On the emergency contacts section, we note the relationships in contact order for this student. When done, we click Next to start reviewing the health services section. On the health services emergency information section, please enter the primary care physician name and contact number. Also note your preference for severe injury and hospital information. When done, click Next and we will review the Medical or Mental Health Conditions section. In this example, I will note a condition of frequent ear infections. Please note any comments or instructions for our nurses. You will then answer whether your student has asthma. In this example, I will say yes. Note that the student, a question popped up whether the student uses an inhaler. I will say yes on this. Once that is selected, you will be noted to submit an asthma action plan to your building nurse before starting school. We will then answer the question on healthcare information. This question asks if every child in your family has healthcare insurance, including Medicaid. We will say yes. When done, click next. On the medication section, we enter any medications that are taken by the student at home or at school. In this example, I will add a medication that is taken at home. Please add any comments or instructions for the building nurse. When done, click Next. On the transportation section, we mark whether the student will need bus transportation to or from school. In this example, I will say that the student will need transportation. I then note whether it is to or from home only, or if there are alternate locations the transportation department needs to be aware of. In this example, I will let the transpor transportation department know that the student needs to be picked up and dropped off at a different location on Wednesdays and Fridays. I then note whether my student has an IEP or 504 plan that indicates specialized transportation is needed. 
I will mark no. We can provide the transportation department with additional information if needed. When done, click Next. On the release agreement section, the school year is already selected and we then review the media release and technology agreement questions. I will mark yes on the media release and then move to the technology section. I go through and answer the technology in-home questions and then click on the link to, re to review the technology agreement. This will open a new tab with that agreement document. I mark yes on the technology agreement and then sign my name. When done, I click save and continue. We are now back to the main screen. Once all students have been reviewed, we click the Save Continue button to move to the submission form. Please note that an automated email will be sent to your email address from noreply at mail.hillsboro.k12.mo.us. You can also save a copy of your annual review by clicking the Application Summary PDF. Once you are done, click the red Submit button. When we click this button, it lets us know that it could take 30 to 45 seconds for the application submission to complete. Do not close any tabs or windows during this process. When ready, click Confirm. Our application has now been submitted. If you have not uploaded your proof of residency, you should now email a picture or PDF to the registrar at registrar at hsdr3.org. Your application will be placed on hold until this information is received and approved. Thank you for taking the time to complete the annual review process.